Hey everyone, it's Megan from Tossled, and today I'm gonna be breaking all of this down. Not a step-by-step -step of how to, but I'm going to be showing you a make under. Right now in quarantine, it is so important for us to be taking care of ourselves. Self-care is huge, it's massive right now, and it's so important. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use to make myself feel a little bit better while taking it all off. Okay, first thing, hair. I shampoo my hair maybe twice a week. And some of you guys might think that's crazy or you're wondering how the heck you can do that. Right now is an awesome time to start training your hair and your scalp, your skin just in general, to go a little bit longer between shampoos. What this is gonna do is it's going to help your natural oils reach to your ends and it's gonna be better for your color, um, just better for your all over scalp health. But with that being said, there are some things that need to be done in the meantime or when it is shampoo day to take care of your scalp. So first things first, um, you're just gonna wanna brush everything through. Um, I have my handy dandy wet brush that I love. Um, and you're gonna just go honestly from scalp to end. This is gonna just start getting your scalp, like waking your scalp up. <clears throat> and next, when it is shampoo day, I suggest coming through with a comb. And just coming through, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna really comb, you're just gonna comb the scalp. What this is gonna do is this is gonna break up all that old product built up, all that dry shampoo, um, and just go section by section. Um, there's lots of layers of product and dry shampoo, um, mineral buildup too, just from water and just environmental buildup from everything outside. But while you're staying away from people. So now, now that your scalp is combed out, really feels amazing. Um, one thing that I started using recently is a scalp detox. This is awesome. This is by Bumble and Bumble. My girlfriend sold this to me. She's a salon owner over in Eastern Etchy. Um, and you're just gonna take something, you're gonna take this and spray it at your scalp. This will help break up any excess. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. It's awesome though. Um, and your comb is gonna be just fine. Okay, this stuff is crazy. I don't know if you can hear it, but it has this like bubbly, crackly sound. So nuts, it feels amazing. Um, but now that you have your scalp taken care of, you're going to want to take care of your mids and ends. These do get very dry, especially if they're color treated. Mine are bleached the heck out and they are sad. So I like to find, um, you know, a, a serum or an oil that's made for your hair. I don't recommend putting coconut oil that you also cook with on your hair. The molecule is too big and it, your hair will not absorb it. It'll just sit on the top and it will um, just create buildup and it's not gonna be helpful. Um, but this little guy is one that I've been using while in quarantine um, and it's, it's castor oil. You can, um, you don't have to buy anything fancy. Um, that or jojoba oil or grapeseed oil. Those ones are all really similar to our, to our pH levels. So um, they will absorb to your, in through your hair. <laughs> you can hear that. Okay, so now that you have your mids and ends taken care of, why does your messy bun always look the best? When it's time to shower. Now it's time to take care of our face. So not a lot of us 
I mean, I don't want to speak for you, but I am not putting a full face of makeup on very often. But when I do, I like, before I even cleanse my face, I like using a, um, a makeup remover. These guys are my go-to. They remove absolutely everything. It's incredible. Um, so take this guy. Cleanse your face. Okay, so just like we exfoliated our scalp, exfoliating your face is just as important, if not more. Um, my cleanser has an exfoliant in it, um, but if you need a little bit more, or if yours doesn't have, um, I suggest either getting yourself, um, getting yourself one that you love, or um, making one at home. A lot of these exfoliants are truly, um, you know, mixed with sugar, salt, honey, and some like non-acidic fruits. It's a great way. Okay, look at that. Glowing, exfoliating. If your hair wasn't on your head, that's what your scalp would look like too. After you exfoliate, it's so important to moisturize. I moisturize first with a serum. Um, this just helps the rest of my next four different steps to my skincare regimen absorb a little bit better. So with the serum, even moisturizers, you just wanna tap or pat it into your skin versus like rubbing it. Dark circles and puffy eyes. Again, patting, not rubbing. Don't rub your eye cream in, please. Um, we should also be moisturizing and conditioning our hair on our face, like our brows and our lashes. There you have it guys, full make under. Start to finish, this is what the real me looks like. It's so important right now you guys to be taking care of yourselves. There's so much uncertainty going on and it's just a wild, wild, wild situations all around us. So take the time, Make yourself under, break yourself down, and feel good. Take care, guys.